Every agency has a bunch of admin tasks that don't contribute to the bottom line but still need to be done regardless. I'm talking about things like sending invoices or reports, following up with clients about billing issues or missing components, just to name a few. In this video, I'll give you 5 actionable ideas on automating or completely eliminating these tasks from your workflow. First up, we have self-service signup. When a client's ready to work with you, send them an easy link to get started instead of asking them to jump through hoops. For example, you can create an invoice for your client manually and just send them a link to pay the invoice instead of asking them to provide a lot of information ahead. Once you've filled in all the invoice details and created the invoice, you can just click on share and send your client the public link so they can pay it. This is what the client will see when they land on the invoice. This allows any person with the link to the invoice that we just created to pay the invoice. Alternatively, you can have your client visit your portal URL directly and just click on sign up to create their own account. Next up, we have the fully self-serviced option that allows your client to land on a sales page on your website like this one, pick the service that they want to purchase, click on sign up, and get redirected into an order form where they can provide you information and check out. Once they filled out the order form, they would just click on complete purchase, which takes them to a thank you page and then to a receipt page that shows them a summary of everything they've purchased. From here, they can click on continue to client portal to provide you all the information that you need to get the work started for them. When logged in, the client can also self-service their payment methods. If they go into the payment page from the sidebar, they're able to add and remove payment methods as well as set new ones as default. Next up, we have self-service subscription upgrades, downgrades, and cancellations. This might seem crazy to allow the client to cancel their own subscription, but it's a big part of why productized services have gained popularity. To do this, when the client is logged in, they can simply click on the subscription sidebar item, click on the ID of their subscription, and then click on the action button on the top right, allowing them to cancel or upgrade or downgrade their plan all on their own. Unlike employees or contractors, if clients can turn the service on and off at any time, that eliminates risk and gives them huge flexibility, which they're happy to pay a premium for. Next up, we have self-service customer support. 38% of Gen Z and Millennial customers say they're likely to give up on resolving a customer service issue if it can't be solved through self-service. Make sure you have a helpful FAQ, a great help center like the one we have here at SPP, AI chatbots or assistants, and if none of that works, make it easy to get help from a real person, for example, via a widget like the one we have on our home page. You should definitely try to use the help desk software to spread the load between your team members, even if on the client side, they're just sending emails to your support address. SPP has a module that helps you make client communication substantially smoother. To activate it, navigate into modules from your sidebar and then activate the help desk module. From here, you can click on settings to see your support email and also navigate into forms from the sidebar, then contact forms to set up your own contact forms that can be embedded as widgets into your website, embedded as iframes into your website as well, or just sent to the client directly. You can also set up a custom email address to receive support tickets from your clients on, which would then be forwarded to SPP if you prefer. And the final tip that I have for you to bundle all these tips together is to have a self-service client portal. This allows your client to invite their coworkers to directly collaborate on the portal, add billing or accounting contacts instead, get access to their own personalized reports directly in the portal as well, have one channel to ask questions if they need any help, and track the progress of their orders all by themselves. For more helpful tips and guides, check out our YouTube channel. And to see more about the portal I've been showing you all these tips on throughout the video, visit the link in the description below.